Hi, I'm Rabbi Alon Ferency of Eskimuna Synagogue, Knoxville, Tennessee, speaking to you today about Parshat Chukat, Numbers chapters 19, 20, 21, and the first verses of chapter 22. I've often thought this particular Parsha, this weekly reading, might be the climax of the whole Torah. It's the Parsha in which Moses hits the rock as water comes out without obeying God's word to give God credence and honor in that instance. So he and Aaron are not allowed to enter the land. It's the Parsha in which Aaron and Miriam, Moses' siblings, die. It's the Parsha, it's the Torah section in which the Israelites begin both fearfully of their neighbors and military forces and then start to overcome that fear and conquer and vanquish their military foes. So much that happens. It's a great moment of transition from the wilderness generation to the generation that will arrive in the land successfully. But it's also a really sad Parsha. The deaths of Aaron on the hill and Miriam in the wilderness are hard to take. It's like when you've been with a friend for a long time in a community and they're no longer there. Maybe they've moved away. Maybe they've changed, but often death takes them. What do we do with that? What do we do with the sum of their lives that has been so internalized and integrated with our own? The Israelites couldn't believe that Aaron died. He was the one who stood between them and the plagues. He was the one who resisted the angel of death just a few weeks ago in the Torah reading. How could this person full of vibrancy and strength and courage be separated from them? How could he be even subject to the angel of death? Sayer Midrashim, our sages' writings and sort of fan fiction on the Torah. The truth is, I don't know. I don't know why people come in and out of our lives, why people are born and die, why we are mortal in the end, and what it all means. John Quincy Adams says that the effect, the influence of each person on others in this life is a kind of immortality, and truly that's probably the only immortality we get. But I also learned recently that grieving is a way of making space in our hearts and souls for others our next attachment and cleaving to and love. So allow yourself to be attached to things that are transient, even your own body. Allow yourself to love people like Miriam and Aaron in your lives. The gifts that Miriam gave of the well and peace from Aaron. Let those fill you up. Let yourself be filled up with the Torah that Moses gives and the teachings of your loved ones, even though they are both sadly mortal. You are too. There's only one end to this story. And uh, the important thing is to write the chapters well in the meantime. Shabbat Shalom. If you enjoy talks like this, do like, share, and subscribe to Eclectic Cleric, just one word, on YouTube.